Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction, Data File as Structure, and Algorithm Series. Right now, we are on our Lecture 1 of Week 1. Let's proceed to our topic for today. And our topic for today is about the syllabus. Course Code, COMP 20063, Title, Data Structures and Algorithms, Description, Data structure is an essential area of study for computer scientists and for anyone who will ever undertake any serious programming task. This course deals with the fundamental of organizing and manipulating data efficiently using clean conceptual models. In particular, the emphasis on the organization of information, the implementation of common data structures and techniques of data abstraction. Implementations in this course are carried out in any programming languages. But the principles are more generally applicable to most modern programming environments. Next slide. Data structures are containers that contain objects of data types. There are several common data structures, and each has its own behavior and applications. Common data structures are array of one or more dimensions, stacks, linked lists, uh, like single and double, queues, trees, like balance, binary, and so on graph and hashing. Understanding data structures helps the student understand how they behave and when to use any of them. Next slide. The course objectives. A. Cognitive aims. Number one, introduce the concept of, data, of abstract data types or ADTs. Number two, broaden the knowledge of solving problems using computer by the use of ADTs. Number three, students should understand common data structures and algorithms and be able to apply that understanding. Number four, implement the concept of data structure by the use of programming languages. Next, we have value aims. Number one, inculcate in the students the value of honesty, integrity, and hard working in any class activity. Emphasize fairness in teacher-student and student-to-student -student relationship. Motivate the students in working harmoniously with their groupmates and classmates. Give awareness to the students that man and computer is different in such a way that computer is structured and logical and man is irrational sometimes. Next slide, we have the course content per unit topic and time duration. Number one, overview of uh, data structure. Uh, course overview and kickoff from problems to program, data types, data structure, and abstract data types. We have typographical of S in data. Number two, arrays and pointers. Representation of arrays. Number two, representation of pointers. And number three, are array versus pointers. Number three, linked list ADT. Array implementation of linked list. Fundamental of linked list using pointers. Adding a node to a linked list. Displaying a content of a linked list. Searching an item in a linked list. So next, we have 2.1 programming with linked list. By inserting a node into a specific, if specified position, inserting a deletion procedure for a sorted linked list, application using linked list, 2.2 other linked list structure such as double and circular linked list. Next slide, we have uh, quiz 1, number 1, then 7, stack ADTs, introduction of stacks, implementation of stacks such as array implementation of stacks and linked list implementation of stacks. Three stacks application, such as evaluation of arithmetic expression. Next topic we have queues ADTs. So we have introduction to queues, implementation of queues, array implementation of queues, linked list implementation of queues, and under this we have circular queues and queue application. Then we have quiz number two. Next we have number nine, three ADTs as part one. Number one, introduction to three. Two terminologies, three, three gen representation, four general tree, five binary trees, and under this we have implementation, conversion of binary to general tree, and vice versa. And then we have our quiz number three. And after that, that is our midterm departmental examination. Next slide we have number 10, three ADTs as part two. So we have binary tree traversals. Expression trees, binary search trees, balance trees, height balance tree, AVL tree, weight balance tree, B trees, 
And the last, we have the hip flex. After this, we're going to have our quiz number 4. Next, number 11, graphs. Under this, of the subtopics, we have review on sets, representation, elementary graph operations, search algorithm, such as breadth first search and depth first search, and we have five shortest path problems, and number six, spanning trees. Next, we have number 12, hashing and file structure. File structure, concept of fields, records, and files, sequential file organization, index sequential file organization, multi-key file organization, relative random file organization. And number two, we have symbol hash in hashing, symbol table, hashing function, collision resolution techniques. Then we go to quiz number five, and after that, we're going to have our final departmental examination. Then, in week 18, we're going to evaluate and round up the activities we gather. And that is all the total. Now, the course requirements we have is the class recitation, seat work, assignment, quizzes, machine case studies, and on the given specified under the following. But due to the pandemic, we can modify this as much as possible. Uh, it is not hard for you to finish the requirements in the course. Next course needed to finish the subject. Number one, array program, sorting and searching program, linked list program, stack program, skews program, expression tree evaluation, binary tree evaluation, balance tree problems, and hashing problems. Note, since the course, course was designed to apply the ideas learned from the class in the practice, it is a must that for every lesson discussed on output program case study to be made, as a requirements, failure to submit such requirements would mean failing grade in the case study. Evaluation techniques, recitation, seat work, assignment, quizzes, case studies. Now in midterm, under grading system, so we have class standing 70%, quizzes, recitation, seat work, case study, assignment, which gathers 30%, 20, 20, 20, and 10. But again, due to pandemic, we can modify this grading system because it is considered to be an online class. And we have the midterm examination 30%, a total of 100%. In finals, it is the same. So if we're going to compute for the midterm and final, that is will be your average. Suggested teaching methodology strategies, classroom discussion, machine problems, examination, seat work, quiz major, quiz or major exam. Required readings, number one, guild Gilbert, Richard, and Frosan, Perus, Data Structure, Sudo Code Approach in C, C++ Course Technology 2004. Albasea Elizer, Introduction to Data Structures and Algorithm, UPLB Foundation Incorporated, 2002. Waste Mark Allen, Data Structure and Algorithm Analysis in C, 3rd edition by Addison Wesley, 2006. General Rules. The course is expected to have a minimum of five quizzes to make up tests. No makeup tests will be given. Assignment and research project report works will be given throughout the semester. Such requirements shall be due as announced in class. Its submission shall be penalized with grade deduction 5% per day or shall no longer be accepted depending on the subject facilitator discretion. Assignments and exercise are designed to assist you in understanding the materials presented in class and to prepare you for the exam. Number three, students are required to attend class regularly, including possible makeup classes. The student will be held liable for all topics covered in assignment made during this her absence. The university guidelines on attendance and tardiness will be implemented. But it is, this one is an only case. That's why this is not considered to be uh, evident right now on the general rules. Maybe this need to be modified. Number four, any evidence of copying cheating during examination may result in a failing grade from the examination for all parties involved. Note that the university guidance shall be used in dealing with this matter. Number five, continuation. Students are advised to keep graded work until the semester has ended. Contents of the syllabus are subject to modification with notification. Cell phones, radios, and other listening devices are not allowed, but again, this is allowed because it is online. Number eight, no food, drinks, cigarettes for, again, uh, Withdrawal of and dropping from the subject should be done in accordance with existing university policies and guidance regarding this matter. Congratulations, you successfully finished our lecture number one. Thank you and good luck.